What's the smartest thing you know? What's the smartest thing I know? So I, I used to know up to like uh, 120 digits of pi. <laughs> I don't know them right now. I think I know like 10 right now, but I'm really good at memorizing digits of pi. Josh, welcome. I'm Ray Jeffrey, Thunderbird 12. Thanks for coming out today. Awesome. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. So first of all, are you excited? Stoked. Excellent. Wait. I love to hear it. So today we're in Waco, Texas, and we are flying with the Thunderbirds. Today we're going to have a series of briefings for you before we get you into the aircraft itself. Uh, starting with me, mine is just going to be a quick overview of what you're going to experience today. I've always wanted to fly and be in a fighter jet. I don't know what that feeling is like. They say you kind of just have to get up there and everyone reacts differently. Do you enjoy roller coasters anything mm -hmm. like that? Yep. Take that, crank the knob to 11, that's what <laughs> you're going to be experiencing today. When I was younger I did a simulation at the Kennedy Space Center when I was seven. Um, so I think it went up to two or three G-forces, nothing too crazy. I know these planes can get up to like nine G-forces. So um, I don't really know entirely what to expect. I know it'll be fun, it'll be a different experience. So I'm excited about the day. Here, V final equals. So your force of lift is your coefficient of lift, which depends on your plane. So when we do an engineering role, we sum up forces in every direction. So some of the forces. X direction. So I started playing football when I was five. Uh, my mom actually accidentally signed me up for tackle football when I was five. I feel like once I got on the field, I've loved it ever since. I can't imagine not playing football. I played quarterback since I was six. So this is my 18th season playing QB, 19th season playing football. My parents taught me at an early age that, you know, my academics always came first. You know, my athletics were a privilege, but my academics were my priority. For as long as I can remember, when I was three, four, five, and we go to the airport, I was always fascinated with airplanes. I think the first thing I ever saw I wanted to be, I was a pilot. But from there, it turned into, hey, I wanted to be a aerospace engineer. So I want to go on and study that and pursue aviation and just however I can be around it, just be around the field. Next thing, let's talk about some G-forces, all right? Mm -hmm. So right now we're sitting at 1G. The F-16 is capable of negative 3 to positive 9 Gs. So mm -hmm. if you weigh 200 pounds right now at 1G at 9 Gs, that's 1,800 pounds of pressure. So those little red blood cells become nine times your body weight and they try to go from the top of your head down into your toes. And if too much of that happens, that's when you end up taking a nap. Doc kind of gave us the rundown of um, you know, how to survive. So the two things you have to do before G's come on the aircraft is first take a good prep breath. Because if not G's come on the aircraft, your diaphragm's not strong enough to re-expand your lungs against nine times your body weight. They taught different breathing exercises and techniques. Like that? Yep, just a little bit quicker. <laughs> In order to be able to sustain yourself throughout the turns. Then we're going to give you a G-suit here in just a little bit, and those have um, air bladders that automatically inflate when G's come on the aircraft. They're going to squeeze your lower, lower extremities. And that'll give you about a G, a G and a half for protection. It, it was literally like a, a crash course of how to be a pilot in three hours before we got out there. Awesome. Um, any other questions? Mm -hmm. Nice. You're having a blast, man. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's get you in a flight suit. Cool. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to be our equipment guys. Okay. So we're going to get you all fit up and get you all uh, suited up looking legit. Awesome. And then uh, make sure that you have the right equipment and go up there and have some fun. So we've got a flight suit for you, and we've got some flight boots for you as well. Wish me luck. Did I put it on right? So first we're going to start with this. So this is basically a pair of pants. You're going to go ahead and step into it. Get an extreme wedgie. My G-Grav suit pushes the blood up into your head to make sure you don't black out during the various turns. It feels like you're just wearing like a really tight pair, pair of super skinny jeans. I feel like Top Gun. So next we have the helmet. It's actually more comfortable than a football helmet. Like much more comfortable. And that is it. 
final road to victory is going to be breaking with your pilot. Okay. And he's going to give you all the stuff, talk about the maneuvers you're going to be flying and stuff like that. So that's awesome. where it gets really fun. It awesome. Really real, so. Thank you. I'll see y'all at the aircraft. Yep, we'll um, see you there. I'll take it to your pilot. Cool. So you can get that bridge started. Let's do it. Hey, how's it going? How's it, how you doing? I'm Jason. Josh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I go by Flack. You can call me Flack or Flack. Jason or whatever you want. Okay. Cool. So, cool. you ready to rock and roll? Ready to go. All yeah, right, let's, let's do it. it. Let's do it. I was actually, so I was reading a little bit about you, and uh, what struck me was that you're an aerospace engineer. So I'm yeah. also an aerospace engineer. Okay. I think about what I went through mm -hmm. in college, <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way in hell that I could have played a sport. So I don't know how you did it, man. It was, it was intense. Post NFL, I definitely want to get into aviation. My ultimate goal, you know, since I was younger, was, you know, building, designing airplanes, designing my own aircraft at some point. I think it's awesome that someone like yourself uh, has made it to, to the big leagues, and uh, there's probably a bunch of little kids out there like, okay, cool, you can actually you can be like both. a scientist and be an engineer and, and still play sports. So right, you can be a nerd awesome, and an athlete. Yes, yeah. you can be nothing, a nerd, nothing you can be wrong a fighter with pilot, you can be a, a professional quarterback. So you can do it all, right? That's awesome, man. Sweet. All right, let's talk about what we're gonna do out there. Let's do it. How are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hi, Thank you for letting me fly with you guys Hi. today. Hey. Oh, cool. Let's get it going. Let's get it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. All right. Tell your flight till you get back. Appreciate it. I'll see you. I'll see you back here. All right. Hopefully, all lunch and yeah. breakfast is right <laughs> down here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's put the sweet helmet on. All right. Let's do it. Game time. Cool, cool. Alright man, you ready to rock? Alright, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I'm going to do the northbound on 17 right and then on Alpha. Number eight, one seven left, please take off. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Once we get into the airspace, we'll accelerate for our G exercise. Our G exercise is going to consist of a G warm up, so we'll do an in place 90 degree turn doing four to five G's. All right, man, here we go. Here we go. And then we'll roll out. I'll do a 180 degree turn back the other direction, and that'll be like six to seven minutes. Five oh, in the oh. air. Um, yeah, not too bad, right? Ground, no, not bad at all. Cool. All right, then we'll get into the profile. Uh, as we're starting our profile, the first thing we're going to do is roll inverted. Here we go. Smoke Woo! on. Ready now. Woo! A little push. And we're flying inverted. Follow the road right no. over there. And then what we're going to do is just do a 360 degree roll back to inverted. And here comes the turn. Woo! Woo! Roll out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Then we'll do our eight point roll. So count along with me to make sure I actually get eight points. We're both engineers, so hopefully we can get the math right. Hopefully. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 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 34.6. If you want to fly, um, you can ask me, hey, can I fly? <laughs> then, yeah, sure. Okay, if you want to fly, this is a perfect opportunity for you to take the controls, get your mind off. 2686 Yes, sir. Awesome. Take the stick. You can move the throttle if you want. Uh, but 
you can pretty much do whatever you want at that point. All right, you ready? Houston, Delta, ready. Okay, you have the aircraft. Awesome. Sweet, man. Killed it. What's they would call it, huh? Let's go back home. Let's do it. This experience was literally one of the best experiences of my life. It's peaceful when we were just flying out there. And then once you get there, you start doing the maneuvers. They're, they're intense. Like the first time you feel like the G-force, it's literally like someone's like just sitting on your chest. Looking forward to doing something like this since I was five. Always wanted to just be in a fighter jet. It was like a childhood dream. It was cool. I can say I flew a fighter jet now at 16, so add that to the bucket list. Kids have dreams in athletics and in academics, and, and people try to put a lid on that and say, oh, you can't do both. But you know, I'm here to say, like, you can. There's enough time in the day to accomplish everything in the classroom that you want and everything on the sports field, as long as you have the discipline, the time management, and the willingness to do it. And I look back on middle school, I look back on high school, I look back on college, and so when you look back on it, you know, why would you change anything?